Welcome to the Wicker Bar. I am the host of this show, Lord Zippy Blaine, the Duke of the motherfucking Del Ridge. I'm making a cocktail tonight. It's Monday. Usually I wouldn't be making a cocktail tonight, but I was inspired. Um, I was doing some shuffling around by our, uh, we have this mammoth tall uh, bookcase, and most of the cocktail books have been moved down here, but this one was kind of sitting up there kind of stray, and I went through a couple of the ones we had in here. One was like the Errol Flynn, uh, Satan's Whiskers, and the other one that I had picked up out was called Elephants Sometimes Forget. And as I'm reading the description, it goes, and it refers to this one, which is Cocktail Guide and Gentleman's Companion by Crosby Gage, um, which, wait, I have to read what it's for. This is published for hussies and homebodies, and I don't know if you can remember, but earlier on uh, this summer, like 50 or 60 or 90 videos ago when we were, you know, still on... Facebook, you know, we're trying to move over to YouTube, but I know a lot of people prefer watching the videos on Facebook, seem to get a lot more views. But anyway, so um, this was a uh, book, I don't know, we got it at a garage sale, thrift store, something around here many years ago, and it originally belonged to uh, Minnie Mae King, and she lived here in West Seattle on 47th Avenue Southwest. It has her address and her phone number, which is a WE7937, and uh during the summer, I did drive by her house, obviously. Um, this is the fifth printing of this book, 1946. First printing is 1941. Um, so I'm going to do kind of more of the version of Elephants Sometimes Forget that's out of this one. Um, the only difference is they, it calls for cherry brandy. I've yet to find a cherry brandy that doesn't taste like Luton's Cough Drops. Because I did get I did get this one, just didn't do it. The inexpensive Kirschweiser, I just don't I don't like the taste. Um, we've been doing the cherry herring, which is a cherry, more of a cherry liqueur than a cherry brandy. But um, enough of that. It's uh, we're we're gonna make it work. Um, so elephants sometimes forget. It's gonna have some gin. It's gonna have some cherry herring. Some lemon juice, dry vermouth, and remember we do have the uh, the dry, the white, and the red. We've got, we're vermouth got a whole other bottle upstairs. Um, orange bitters, and this recipe here calls for just a whisper of amaretto to finish it off. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. You know, we're kind of trying to get into kind of the festive holiday uh, feel, that vibe, kind of overcoming the hump and going to start making it happen here in December. Okay, here we go. So, um, elephants sometimes forget. Three ounces of gin or two jiggers. A jigger is an ounce and a half. It's two times 1.5 is three. Very good, very good. I'm just doing a light one tonight. It's, it's Monday. Whew. Two and a quarter of the cherry herring. So I'm going to do one and a half plus three quarters. That's it. Simple math. Gotta, gotta love it. Um, same amount of uh, lemon juice. I don't want to drip the stickiness. Two and a quarter lemon juice. There's our one and a half. There's our three quarters. Three quarters ugh, of our dry vermouth. Couple of dashes of orange bitters. Whoa! <laughs> and um, dribbling on my on my book here. We're gonna go just a whisper. There we go. Just a whisper of amaretto. 
even have the nice dainty glasses this evening. Nothing uh, tight size or crazy. And don't forget, if I could just take a moment to ask you, please hit subscribe to my channel, hit like, share this with your friends. I'm still shooting for a hundred, hundred subscribers by the end of the by the end of the year. You know, we can do it. It's kind of like the flood drive. Yeah. Proper. <laughs> I was going to use this, but never mind. There's that cherry herring. Very distinct color. Very distinct coloring. Rail. Matches my nails. Oh, it does match your nails. Sexy. Now that That's really good That is a tasty cocktail I mean, I don't know You just can't go wrong with the classics And there's something with Sometimes, some, I don't know what it is When they, these boozes are all mixed together It's like It's like ambrosia I don't know Not ambrosia, that's a salad delicious just just delicious um, elephants sometimes forget out of the uh, 1941 uh, print this is 1946 printing once again of the uh, cocktail guide and ladies companion this is the one we're gonna make a couple of drinks out of this one a couple of snacks out of this one and it's probably got some um, probably got some games in here too God, there's some of them in here that are kiss me doctor Madam, can you walk? My God. Just to lay at twilight. <laughs> how did I, how, how did we not, how, how am I, did I, am I just now like seeing some of these? Well, the pacemaker, we already know about the corp, corpse survivor. Stars in your hair. Why not now? Why not now? God, I love this song. Okay, um, thank you very much from the Wicker Bar. Once again, I'm the host of your show, Lord Zippy Blaine, the Duke of the motherfucking Delridge. You can uh, see us here in real time, just about the same time, a couple of nights a week. Just depends on what's going on. Or you can catch us on uh, YouTube at your convenience. Just, just hit subscribe, like, sync it up, watch it on your television. If you got a big fucking 90-inch screen. There I am. Yeah. All right. We'll catch you later. Peace.